Hey guys, it is Friday and I'm going to film my outfit of the day. About to head out to do some errands. As always, I always run my errands on Fridays. But I'm going to really try to start filming all of my outfits of the days anytime I remember. So really fast, my top is from Target. It is the brand Time and True. My jeans are from TJ Maxx. My husband calls them my mom jeans, but they're so comfortable. I also cuff them in the bottom just because I am tall, so they're high waters on me, so I just cuff them in the bottom. Then my rose gold sandals, they are from Target as well. Then my necklace is from Walmart. My earrings are also from Walmart. And then my little rose gold wooden watch is from Jord Watch. It was sent to me a few months back and I love it. I still need to get it sized because it is a little big on me, but I still do love it. And then I just put a bralette underneath this shirt just because it is pretty low. So if I wear like a regular bra, then you're going to see it. So put a bralette underneath. So that is my outfit of the day. Like I said, I'm going to head out and run some errands. I need to go to Target. And then I need grocery shopping, which I'll do after I pick up Brian from school. And I don't know. Maybe we'll stop by at another store. I'm not sure if we have enough time. But comment down below if you guys would like me to continue doing my outfits of the day. Hey, guys. So we are now at Target. We are in the parking lot of Target and yet yeah, I got out a little later than what I expected from the house because Madison decided to spill her lunch all over the floor. She has a tendency of always throwing her bowls and her utensils and her cups and I guess it's my mistake. I had her food bowl right in front of her and as soon as she took the first bite then she just tossed the entire plate on the floor and it was a mission to clean up because she was eating pasta and it wasn't just like pasta with butter or like alfredo sauce of course it was pasta with red sauce red marinara sauce and it was all over the rug it was all over the table it was all over here so i spent like 30 minutes trying to clean it all up so yeah i planned on getting to target like around 10 45 11 o'clock and it is now 11 36 so gonna head into Target. I will see what they have. I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit in there. I want to see if they have any new fall decor out. I'm pretty sure I won't buy anything just because I have a ton of fall decor anyways but still want to look around. I also want to look around in the dollar spot. I haven't been to the dollar spot since the last time I did my haul so it's been a few weeks so I'm gonna check out the dollar spot see if there's anything new. And yeah, I really want to get another coffee. I got a coffee this morning from Dunkin' Donuts and I'm really tempted to get another coffee because I'm still so tired. I don't know why. I think that my body is so used to coffee and caffeine that one cup of coffee just doesn't do it. So maybe I'll get a cup of coffee. I'm not sure. It's super overcast and gloomy outside. So hopefully we do not get rained on. I do have an umbrella, but I'm gonna get this little one out of the car. Hi, honey. Are you a bad baby this morning? Or this afternoon, you spilled your food all over the floor and mommy had to clean it. You're just gonna ignore me. All right, well, we will head into Target and I will vlog as much as I can for you guys. So they have these houses again. So the small one is $3 and the larger ones are $5. I already have one, but I'm thinking about maybe getting one as a gift. We'll see. Mugs are also new. I didn't see these last time I came. These are three dollars. Comes in two different colors. Kind of tempted to get this white one, or it's like a cream color. Super cute. And we had this one last time. But I'm not sure if they had those hats last time. But these are also. I know they didn't have last time I came. They're really cute. I like them. They are three dollars each. It comes in white and an orange and they already had the green like little leaves last time I came but I would get them but I usually don't have any parties or anything for fall this is what they have out now this garland is really pretty as well and then this is also new too I didn't see it last time I came I 
love these. These are so cute. I think I'm going to get one of these as a gift as well and save it. They're $3. I don't know. Maybe. And then these velvet pumpkins. I have some of these at home. These are a dollar each. They also have the wine stoppers I was telling you guys about. I bought this and they're super cute. We have a ton here at my Target. These jars are really good to store things in, not even for like just holidays, but year round. They also have it in black back there. Now we are walking around inside of Target. I just left the dollar spot section. They had a few things that were new, but a lot of it was just stuff they had last time. I did pick up two things from the dollar spot, something for Ryan and then something as like a gift I'm gonna save for Christmas. But now I am in the paper towel aisle. I need to get some paper towels, some toilet paper. I need to get this little one, some wipes. Um, just a bunch of like everyday essentials. So I'm also going to go to the kids section see what they have for like fall clothes and stuff and just look around. I'm not sure if they have a clearance section right now, but if they do, I will definitely check it out. So let's get some paper towels. I'm going to try these. I usually go for like brawny or bounty, but I'm going to try the sparkle one just because it's only $5.19 and I have a cartwheel um, coupon for it. So I think we'll grab these. It comes with six that in there now we need to get some toilet paper and I also want to go down the makeup aisle I go down the aisle way too much but let's go to the makeup aisle for clearance on this end cap I was thinking about getting this I've never tried it and I love masks and then they also have these sugar scrubs or different things. So this one is to purify smooth and this one's a cell renewal one. And they also have this for $7.98. Never heard of that. But. Oh, this is cool. I like the brand Eva NYC. I have a few products from them. It works really good. $21. It's a mini heat ceramic styling iron. That's so cute. How much is it originally? 30 that is awesome for traveling. And they also have it in this little design. That's really cute. Now I want it. <laughs> and some bath bombs. And also I've been really interested to try this. It's a charcoal shampoo. They also have a conditioner. It's on clearance for $5. It's generally $10. Now moved on to the home decor section and they have a whole section full of clearance stuff but I did pick up a few things I want to show you guys they have some mugs on sale so I think I'm gonna get this for my mom's favorite for Christmas she um her horoscope is a scorpion so this was originally six dollars it's on clearance for 2.98 so I'm gonna grab that and then I want to show you guys a few things they have in the fall decor department but i want to show you guys the clearance section first look they still have these i showed you guys these last time for like your bookshelf and then they have these plant markers where were these when i needed it when i had my garden these are were originally 15 on sale for four dollars 448 that's a good deal and yeah they have a bunch of really cute stuff i like this wreath this yellow wreath it's only 13. So it was originally 45 on sale for 13. I think that's a pretty good price for a wreath. And I like this basket as well. So I'm not gonna get it because I'm spending way too much money lately. But they have a lot of cute things. You guys should check out your Target if you guys have not already. I also really am obsessed with these lanterns, but they are $40. They have it in gold and in black, but I'm gonna switch the camera around so you guys can see. They have it in two different sizes. And I, re I think they would look really nice um, by my fireplace, but I would need two of them and I would want the really large ones and the large ones are $40. So that would be $80, but let me show you. Lanterns that I'm like obsessed with, it comes in black and in gold. I would want the black one and I would want two to put on each side of my 
fireplace and they are $40 each. That would be $80, but those are cute. They also come in a smaller size, but I would want the large ones. And this is really cute too. And Madison, she's had two snacks already. Ew, no, 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 it's yucky. Look, her shirt says, <laughs> you're so cute. Her shirt says world's best sister. I put it on her because Ryan's shirt says world's best brother. So they are matching today, right? Even though Ryan's at school. In the Halloween section, you guys, I want so bad. One of these like large lights to go outside of your house. Right now they have $5 off your hide and eek Halloween shop purchase of $30 or more, but I'll have to convince Robert to them. Um, that one's huge. Oh my gosh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Comment down below, guys, if any of you guys were obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas. I was obsessed with that movie. But they have all the Halloween stuff out, obviously. I'm gonna go down the fall aisle, but these pumpkins are really cute, too. Those large ones I would want for outside of my house. But this is the aisle I wanna go down. I just wanna look around, see what they have. I won't buy anything, but I just wanted to look. This is really cute, but for $15, I don't think that's worth 15. I also really like this Happy Fall tray. Every time I come, I look at it, it's $20. I really like it, that was cute. And this truck is really cute too. I'm obsessed with these types of trucks. I don't know why, but I am. I bought one from their dollar spot, but it's like a miniature one. And these pumpkins are super cute nine dollars and then they have it in orange like this gray and gold color and then that one so many cute things you guys i'm so ready for halloween i'm so excited i can't believe halloween's already next month but this is all the stuff they have all oh, that wreath does it light up yeah it does light up that's cute twenty dollars Skeletons. Oh my god, Ryan is terrified of skeletons. He would be terrified if I brought him down this aisle. And I would decorate outside my house like this, like with skeletons, but Ryan would be terrified. Madison doesn't bother Madison. Listen, girl, I'm gonna need you to stop eating that. Alright, let's just keep on looking around and we gotta head out. In the clothing section, I should not have came in here because look what I found. It says, but first, Hocus Pocus. If any of you guys know me, you know I'm obsessed with that movie. And now I'm really tempted to get it. And this shirt is $13, but it's so cute. I don't know. I think I might get it, maybe, not sure. If I do get it, I'll probably get it in this large, even though it's huge. I just like oversized shirts. So, Maddie, what do you think about this shirt? Madison, look, hey, hey. Nope, not paying attention to mommy. What do you think about this shirt? Yes or no? Yes? Okay. I don't know, I'm gonna put it in the cart and we'll see if we get it or not. This shirt is cute too. Which way to the wine? So cute. If you guys love wine, I'm sure you guys would appreciate that shirt. What else do they have? What does this one say? Pumpkin spice and everything, nice. This shirt, which is also really cute. I'm just here for the booze. I would totally get this shirt as well, but I don't know, I might get the Hocus Pocus one. This pumpkin one is really cute as well. And just a skull. I don't know, I really like this one too. I don't know if I'm gonna get it though, but I like it, it's cute. I said I was done vlogging in Target, but I want to show you guys, their summer stuff is now 50% off. So if you guys don't know, go to your Target. They have a lot of stuff for 50% off. And I'm gonna show you guys everything that they have. They have, oh no. You still have a horrible cup. Sheep something is in her mouth. You're gonna get sicker. Definitely not in your mouth. All right, I'm gonna show you guys really fast where there's summer section that's 50% off. We actually have not this slip inside, we have this slip inside for the kids or for Ryan because Madison doesn't know how to really use it. But so that was originally 20 found sale for six dollars. So we have a bunch of stuff you guys can buy now and save for Christmas or next year for summer and then they have some more stuff here I don't know I don't think I'll pick anything up but they do have a pretty good selection that stuff is only 30% off hey oh gosh she's grabbing things Are you okay did it fall on you did it fall on you honey I can't grab it then no no 
I'm going to stop recording now and Target to say we'll see you guys later. See, see you later. Hey guys, so we are now at the grocery store. I just finished picking up Ryan from school. Hello. Say hi. Hey, hi. And I'm sitting in the car making my list because I just need to start making my grocery list on my phone, which is what I used to always do. And then I started writing it down. But last time I went to Target, like two weeks ago, I left my list at home. And now I made a grocery list. I had all my meals planned out for the entire week and exactly what I needed for ingredients. And I left the list at home. So I'm sitting in the car writing a list. I found a random envelope in the glove department and yeah i'm writing my list here and i know i'm going to miss so much stuff that i was supposed to get so i just need to start writing it on my phone so i don't leave it at home because this is the second time i've done it so i am going to sit here for a few more minutes and think about what else i need from the grocery store because i hate having to come back out during the week because i end up spending way much more on groceries than what I should. I'm trying to budget and I'm trying to stay on a good budget for groceries because before I was spending like $200 or more than $200 on groceries and then and then I would go out like once or twice during the week and spend $20 here, $30 here. So I was spending a lot of money. And as of recently, I've been under $200 for groceries. Usually I'm around like 170 ish like around 170 which i know might sound like a lot to some people but for us it's pretty good because i was going over 200 okay, on groceries on and here. it's mostly madison's food madison eats mostly gluten free and then i like to try to get some organic food i don't get all organic food but as far as like fruits i usually try to get organic fruits because of all the pesticides that they spray on the fruits and then um sometimes i try to get organic veggies but other things i will just get like just regular stuff um so i think that's what puts up our bill between the gluten-free food and the organic fruits and veggies but we will see where we are today for our total so we are going to head into kroger i'm sitting in front of kroger right now and see how much our grocery bill comes out to so are you ready to go into the grocery store yeah but are you gonna be a good boy yeah, you're gonna listen to, to mom? Yeah, and I had to write something real quick. Don't write on that side because you're gonna ruin my list. Here, write on that. You can write on that side. I need to write something. Madison, hi. Did you wake up from your nap, honey? Madison was taking a nap and she woke up, so she should be happy. She might need a diaper change. All right, let's head in. So we're now back home. It is 5:01 to be exact. I am exhausted. I am so tired. Kids have not eaten dinner, so I need to make them something for dinner and take them both back. But I wanted to show you guys really fast. I am gonna show you what I bought at Target, but I'll probably do that after I feed them and I take them back. But I want to show you this cute little broom. So, you know, around the holidays, they always sell like a big broom and then they usually have different scents. This one is apple scent, but it's a mini one. I've never seen a mini one. I've only seen like the really big ones, which I was really tempted to buy today, but I didn't. I just found this tiny one. I thought it was so cute. So. I think I'm gonna put it, it in my, so good. smells good. I think I'm gonna put it in my bathroom and my bathroom will smell like cinnamon apple. That's what it smells like, it smells so good. So and it was only a dollar, so you wanna smell it? We gotta eat dinner, okay? Does it smell good? This part smells really sour. <laughs> really sour? What, that part? Yeah, this part. What part smells good? Uh, this one. Oh, okay. Do you want do you want to know which one smells the best? Which one? This one. Whoa. <laughs> That's cute, huh? Yeah, and you all and mommy always saw the bigger ones, but it has like an apple cinnamon strawberry scent and I don't know how. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna take them a bath and get yeah. them some dinner and Can then I after I will show you guys what I got from Target. What? Can I say bye? Okay, yeah, say bye. Bye bye. Don't lick it. You ready? She has a booger. Well, are you trying to help Sissy out and clean up her boogers? Yeah. Get the booger. Let me get the booger. Let me get it. Who wants it? Did he get, get it? it? Nope. Madison's not letting me get it. I don't know if it's in there or not. See you in a little bit. 
Okay, the staying got, on podium is in the way of me getting. I got the booger. Oh, you are the best big brother ever. She loves you. Aw. Thanks for helping her out. You're welcome. Okay, go throw it away. Hey guys, so I'm just going to show you guys a few things that I bought from Target. I didn't buy a ton of things. Um, And half of it I actually already put away, which was just like boring cleaning stuff. Half the stuff is still boring, but... I know you guys, for some reason, still like when I do hauls, even when it's just boring stuff that you need for every day. So I'll just start off with some toothpaste. We needed some more toothpaste. So I got the Crest Scope toothpaste and then the kids needed toothpaste. Well, Madison uses a fluoride free toothpaste, but Ryan needed his toothpaste. So I just got him some kids Crest um, toothpaste and then Ryan is almost out of his Listerine. So I just... I just got him some Listerine and then I needed some more face cream or face lotion. I'm completely out with the one I have now. Never tried this one. This one's by Clean and Clear. It's their dual action moisturizer and it helps treat and help. It helps treat and help. It moisturizes dry skin, treats and helps prevent pimples. So I break out a lot very easily. So we'll see how that works. And then I've never tried these, but I'm always hearing really good things about um, these like little scrunchies that look like this. They're supposed to not leave like any creases in your hair and it's supposed to also be better for your hair for breakage and stuff. So why do I, I keep on hearing things. Um, so anyways, I bought that and then we needed some more eye solution and this light is so bright. I'm so sorry guys. Okay. Um, and then we just needed some more eye solution. Madison needed some wipes and then what's in this bag? In this bag, in their dollar section, I decided to get this for Ryan. It is a, it's called My Super Spooky um, Sticker Book. It has press on masks as well and it has over 250 stickers. I thought it was a really good deal. It was only a dollar. I was pretty convinced that this was going to be three dollars but it was only a dollar and it had two other um like little designs but I thought this was really cute for Halloween. In the back there's two masks as you guys can see and I just thought it would be fun. Next week he has um fall break so I thought maybe we can do this together. There's a bunch of like activities and stuff so got him that. And then I got, what's in here? Oh, then I got this mug for my mom. I found on clearance. Her um, sign is a scorpion. So it just says Scorpio, passionate and secretive. And it was originally $6 on sale for three. And then I also got this little house. You guys know I'm obsessed with the house that I have. So they had the large and the smaller one. I decided to get a small one. This was $3 and it does light up. I don't want to pull the tag out. There's a tag under here that lets it light up. I don't want to um, pull it out because it is going to be a gift. Pretty sure I'll give this to probably my sister. And I was going to get her the larger one, but I don't know if she's going to like the larger one. I feel like she would like the smaller one better. So that's why I got her the smaller one. Did I get anything else? I think that's all other than like my same stuff. Oh no, you guys, so exciting. So I decided to get the shirt. You guys know I'm obsessed with Hocus Pocus and this shirt was $12.99. So I think it's a pretty good deal because I feel like when I go to like Marshalls and TJ Maxx, I buy shirts that are like $12.99 and up. So it's just a like pretty much like a tank top. I got it two sizes bigger just because I want it to be really loose. I want to be able to tie it and tuck it. So this would be so cute with like some jean shorts. And even like you can wear it in the fall or winter because you can just throw over a like jacket or a sweater over it. But in orange it says, but first Hocus Pocus. And then it has the cat in the middle of the O from Pocus. And yeah, I could not say no, this is gray. Super cute. So I haven't tried it on yet, but I'm sure it's going to look really cute on me. They also had a bunch of um, other really cute like Halloween themed shirts. There was one that said, something about booze everyone needs booze or I need booze something with booze I did record it so you guys will see it super tempted to buy that as well but it was also $13 and I didn't feel like spending another $13 on a shirt so I didn't get that one but that one's really cute I might go back for it and then there was one about wine which I really love wine that I also really liked and wanted but I didn't get it so I'll probably end up going back for the booze one because that one was super cute but 
that's all I bought. And like I said, I bought other household essentials, but I already put it away. So yeah, the kids already ate dinner. So I'm going to take them a bath now. I also need to put the laundry in the dryer. I put it in a load before I left and it's still sitting in the washer. So I need to put that in the dryer. And what else are we gonna do for the rest of the day? Um, I did buy some, what is it called? Cinnabons. So Madison, not Madison, Ryan wants to have movie night tonight and I let him pick out whatever snack he wanted from the grocery store. And when we went down on the refrigerator section, I thought he was gonna pick out cookies and he saw the Cinnabons or the Pillsbury ones that you make at home. And he said he wants to make that. He's never made any, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna have fun making it. So we will make that and then have a, a movie night. I don't know what we're gonna watch, but we will rent something on TV. And yeah, that's gonna be the rest of the night. It is already around six o'clock. Anyways, I'm going to take the kids a bath and then I will vlog a little bit later. Hey guys, so we just got some really unfortunate news about my husband's nephew. No, no, Maddie. Um, my husband's nephew just passed away and he passed away and I don't know, I feel like the worst way ever. He was left in a hot car. Um, we don't know much information um, because he's at work right now and I don't think he can get in contact with his family right now, like his mom. I can just imagine um, how my mother-in-law is feeling. I think his brother might have called him and told him, but yeah, we don't really have much information. All we know is that his nephew, which is Madison's age, was left in the school parking lot in a car and he was found unconscious by a bystander and when they found him he was like i said already passed out so they ran across the street across the street is a fire station from the school so they rushed him across the street to the fire station and then from there they rushed him to the hospital but he was pronounced dead when he arrived at the hospital and it's so sad and unfortunate and I just still don't understand how anyone can leave a child in a car. Um, I know accidents happen, I know no one's perfect, but to leave a kid in a car, I just don't know how you forget a kid in the car, whether it's your kid or a kid that you are babysitting. I don't understand how that happens. And it makes me really sad to think about my husband's nephew sitting in that car for hours and hours and hours and that's the way he spent his last last few hours of breath in that hot car in Florida. If anyone knows, Florida is so hot. It's humid and hot. It was in the high 90s. I think it was almost 100. It was like 96 when this happened. So super, super hot outside. And yeah, unfortunately he passed away. Um, we really didn't have a relationship with his nephew um, because of just family issues. Um, so I don't know if we're going down there for the funeral or not. Um, I would like to go just because at the end of the day, it's still family. Um, it's still his blood, it's still his nephew. And I don't even know if we've ever met his nephew. If we did, maybe it was just one time when he was an infant. Um, the little boy he does have an older sister, which is a little bit older than Ryan. I think she's like five or six months older than Ryan. We have a relationship with her. She's been to Georgia to, to visit us. Brian has seen and met her every time they see each other. They play with each other every time we go down to Florida. She's usually at my in-law's house and we've seen her a lot. But the little boy was just, I don't know, kept from us and we never really had a relationship with him. So I don't know how my husband is feeling since he didn't have a relationship with his nephew. But like I said, at the end of the day, that's still blood. That's still your nephew. That's still family. And you have to have some type of feeling towards it. Um, and yeah, so I, I don't know. I'm just not going to vlog for the rest of the day. I just don't feel up to it. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I just want to update you guys on what was going on. It's like all over the news in Florida. I'm getting messages and declaring Logan dead a short time later at Arnold Palmer Children's Hospital. She's been helping raise Logan since the day he was born. He never knew a stranger. He loved everybody. Always had a smile on his face. Warner last saw Logan Thursday afternoon, saying he ran into the house with his big sister when she stopped by to pick up her baby doll. Yeah, I don't know. When my husband gets home, I guess we'll talk about it and see if we're going to go down to Florida. If it was up to me, I would go. Um, but it's not up to me. It's my husband's family, my husband's side of the family. So I have to leave it up to him. I have to leave it up to his family, whether or not they want us there. Because like I said, we didn't have a relationship. 
with the little boy, so they might not want us there. I don't know. But like I said, I just say a prayer for my husband's family and for the little boy me, and for the me. sister because it's going to be it's going to be hard. Do you have a question, the girl? I did some research. Very resourceful. I did it to a show. Yeah. In my workload. They're just having a conversation. Mm -hmm. Oh. And who are you? Take my grandchildren on a You're my teacher. What's your name, teacher? Did you know the licensing agreement includes a theme? Who? You, you, you can take them there. It's not I can't hear you, buddy. I have had the same view. Who Barn? Who Barn? Yeah. Oh. Hi, Mr. Who Barn. Tell me I want to sell the whole. So, does anybody know anything about this guy who I'm pointing to with the bow tie? What? The guy with the bow tie. This guy that's on the screen. Class, you have a guess? Yes. Okay, what's your Mommy guess? Has a question. Well, no one raised their hand, so I can't ask her anything. <laughs> yeah. Now, back where we were. Where were we were. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, who knows about this guy with the bow tie? I have a question. What's your question? If you were a breakfast cereal, which one would you be? And why? Um, Cheerios? And why? Because I like eating cereal.